What's good, YouTube? This your boy Kobe, and I'm back. And I got a tutorial. It's the glowing kill feed. If you don't know what it is, I'm gonna show you an example now. Okay, it was that right there. All, um, all you're gonna need is a PNG image of a sniper rifle that you're gonna use. I got a folder, I'm gonna put it in the description so y'all can download it, so don't worry about it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to explain this the best way I can. I'm gonna try to make the tutorial fast. Um, yeah, so what you wanna do is drag your MSR image in into the comp. Um, alright, I'll drag it to the, into another comp. And what you wanna do is add fill and glow. Pretty much just copy all this down. The, the fill should be easy. Glow threshold is 90, 36, and 3. Um, yeah, so what you wanna do is hit S, go to scale. Scale it down to about 15 because it seems like it would be the perfect size. Hit R for rotation. Make that one. Then hit P for position. <sighs> Ashes. Um, you want to line it up to where the kill feed, like once you get the kill, once you get the kill and it just start popping up. So that's what you want to line it up at. See, what I do is I go to where the kill feed stops like where where it stop moving at and then I do for that I, then I I just line it up or you just line it up or whatever and then you hit P for position and then you just take it back to where the key the key um back to the marker to where the kill feed just start fading in or whatever the fuck it is start fading in and then what you want to do is hit T for opacity bring this down to zero Hit a keyframe. Hit you to, to look at all your keyframes and bring us up, bring this back up to 100. Just move it halfway, and yeah. So now what you do, you go to the second part where you get a second kill at, and you split it there. Yep, you split it there, and then you duplicate it. Um, you drag it back over there. We go um, get rid of that one real quick. Okay, so, yeah. So now, pretty much, yeah, this pretty much perfectly lined up. You hit you to see a keyframe. Pretty much, you could just delete these two keyframes if you want. Hit P because that's perfect right there. Then go back to where. Oh, let's go a couple frames over because I can't see it. Okay. Oh shit, not over. And you just go down and just line it up. You just keep doing this over and over. And you line it up and just turn this one back on. Cause okay now. See, okay, so now that's pretty much moving up. And this one right here, you hit you for this one. Delete the keyframes. I just delete the position keyframes. Scoot that one up and keep the opacity keyframes so that way I don't keep having to do the opacity keyframes. But before that, make sure I hit keyframe. Drag that out right there. Drag this out some. And you just go. Uh, you don't need the opacity for this. Sorry for that. And you just want to drag it down, back down to the right position of this, of the feed. So now, now it's moving up. Now I see. And now what you want to do is, let's get back to my position. Okay, what's this? This top one, top one. Okay, move this one down under here. Keep everything or organized. Okay, now what you want to do is, what we're going to do is, because you get a collateral right after this, we're going to split these two. Oh, I didn't want to duplicate it just yet, I want to split. Okay, I split those two right there. Then hit you, get rid of the keyframes for those. And, um, pretty much I go right here to where he, to, to, uh, to where the, the collateral come up. And I just go up and just move it up, change the position. This is all you keep doing is that over and over. P 
people, I mean, it, it, it's going to take time. Some people might got different ways. I got different ways of doing it. Yeah, then you just hit your keyframe right there. Then come back. Uh, drag those down. I just don't care no more using the, the arrow keys. Now it, it moves up. I mean, see, now you'll see that it's kind of off, but you can just fix it like that. But you won't really, yeah, you won't really tell no way, because uh, you won't see it with your eyes. And what you want to do is make sure you drag that under that. Keep just keep them organized. Then click both of them. Then now you want to duplicate it. Then hit the uh, keyframe button. I mean, you to get rid to see your keyframes. Oh, I'm so fucking up on this tutorial, but fuck it. And what you want to do is drag them down. Come on, bitch. Okay, there you go. Now I hit your position. And then just come back to where. So do the same thing over where the kill feet start sliding up. So there it goes down there. Drag these bitches down. And what you want to do is hit T for opacity. Do the same thing. Make it zero. Hit you to see the keyframes. And bring it back up to 100. Yeah, it's a little off about right here. You know, just scoot it up. It's a little off. So now, as you see, if we go back and play it, check it out. Boom. Boom. It's a little off, but you, you really won't, you really not gonna tell because you couldn't tell in an example, but you, you, you could just fix it up. And now, you can get one more kill for the five man. You see it's going up. So I'm not, so now what you want to do is go back to the first, first one you made. This one right here. Duplicate it. Uh, just, um, hide it for a little while. Select all the layers. And which, uh, nope. Select that layer, then hit shift. And then pre-compose all your layers. And just to make the last part easy. Okay, so now everything is already all pre composed. Everything is already lined up. Everything. And so, what you want to do is now go right here back to the last part of the keyframe. Move them up. Hit P for position. There you go. And then drag it back down. Okay, there you go, perfect. So now we want to take that first one that we duplicated and hit, and just drag it all, all the way back, and it should be perfect already lined up since it was like the first, the first one we did. So now let me try to ram preview this. Give it a few minutes. Yeah, so but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get better at explaining tutorials and shit. I mean, the reason why I started doing tutorials now is because people would ask me simple questions. I'm like, okay, better yet, I'm gonna start doing the tutorials. So I had to help you out and me out. And yeah. So now you see the kill feed going. And pretty much there, there you go. I mean, we could probably like fix this keyframe for the last one a little bit more. Yeah, like get rid of this, these two, if you want to. It should should be perfect sometimes, but you know, you can fix it to where how you want it. Okay, hit make a keyframe. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Uh. Okay, there we go. Drag that down right there. So now, boom. Okay, so now, there you go. The glowing kill feed effect. 
I hope I explained this <laughs> better or I hope I helped out a lot help some of you people out and it's, it's another way you could do it too you didn't you didn't have to just do it that way you could have just waited till you got the kills kills then after you you put the twerk twerkster it then the kill feed pop up the glowing kill feed pop up that was one way an easy way to do it right there but you know some people might not want to do it with that way or you might not have time to do it this way or you want to do it another way you know you know what to do but anyways thank y'all for watching the video subscribe like leave some tutorial requests subscribe to my team you know the usual it's your boy Kobe and I'm out